Okay, today we're just going to do a really quick replacement of this seven way for my trailer. Uh, the cover's broken off of it. So we ordered a new one online. I'm going to show you really quickly how to take this off. Here's the new one. There's a little tab you're going to see right here on the side. And that's what we're going to use that uh, releases the old one out. So let's get started and get the old one out of there and put this new one on. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to reach up underneath and we can grab this from behind. And basically, you're just going to take a little screwdriver, push in this tab. And then you're going to rotate it all the way there to take it out. And it's going to push through to the front side. And then you've got a little electrical clip right here that you're going to push in on. And it's going to come apart. Now I like to take and uh, spray some electronics cleaner in there. Uh, you want to make sure that you have no power coming to any of these. So if your seven ways hooked up with a 12 volt power, which is normally at the one o'clock and it's always on, and you don't want to spray this in there unless you disconnect that. And I'm going to show you where to disconnect that on this truck in a minute. So let's spray and clean that out. Get these contacts all nice and clean. So we're going to take the, the new one, it's going to line right up with the old one. That's going to slide in like that. We're going to take it and slide it back in and twist it into place until that little clip locks in. That's it. We've got a brand new one on there. Pretty simple. I'm going to show you now though where to disconnect that power supply. This is the 2008 Chevy. So some are different than this truck, but for a 2008 Chevy, I'm going to show you where that's at. Okay, so I opened up the hood. This is a 2008 2500 series Chevy with the uh, diesel engine in it. And if you look, this is the power supply box that's inside the engine compartment. So basically what you're going to want to do is you lift that off. I'm going to try to do this with just one hand hold the camera. So you see these two terminal posts right here. Well the first, the one here on the left it's going to go to this fuse right here which is a 30 amp fuse and then this one right here is a 40 amp fuse. So now what GM has done on these cars is that, or trucks is that they haven't actually hooked up for the seven way the power supply. So if you trace way down here by the brake lines and back down in here you're going to find this wire that's it's going to be taped typically around this wiring harness. I've already released it and pulled it and it comes all the way up here. So this is the one, it's uh, the actually match, so this goes to the smaller one right here which is the 40 amp. So basically you just have to get a nut that's going to fit this size and clamp that down. Now if you don't already have an electronic brake control for your trailer in here too, right here on the right hand side you'll see connected to this wiring harness is this other wire which will have an end on it too which is the bigger one and that one's going to connect to here and that gives you power supply to your electronic brake inside the truck. But you're going to want to disconnect this one if it's hooked up before you spray any kind of electronic cleaner in there. Alright?